Hey, everybody, it's Brad. <laughs> and I'm Krista. With the Big Family Home Stead. And today we got a lot going on, yeah. folks. A lot of uh, homesteady kind of things, a lot of around the house things. And oh my gosh, you're not going to believe. Well, let's just say you're being watched. Cha -cha -cha. But right now, right over there, let's get to some chicken installing mm -hmm. and then we'll get to the spying. Well, it's not really spying. Terms of service, no, it's, eh, it doesn't matter. Chicken stuff first. Okay, so the goal is to get that in here. In here. In here. So we have to remove this and put this in there. Yes, and yeah. I would like to point out that if you're wondering to yourself, <coughs> do our chickens have chandeliers? Yes, yes they do. Yes. Yes, Nothing do. but the best for our ladies. Exactly. They were recycled. Yes, these were in the living room. No, dining room. We swapped them out. In the in the house, and instead of throwing them away or then letting them sit and get wasted, we decided to put them in here. And yes, they are. They they might they might have a little bit of dust on them. Just just a little bit. I'm not flinging. It's chicken no dirt. Flinging. Chicken dirt. Blech. As we're trying to take this apart, Henrietta here has decided I am not done and you will receive an egg from me. <laughs> Look at this, funny. Where are you going? <laughs> that is one That's curious so chicken. Funny. El curioso chicanoso. It's too funny. <laughs> Meanwhile, the geese, Phineas and Ferb, they watch on, puzzled, wondering what in the world is going on in there. You guys look good, by the way. Excellent. Ta da! We got it all done. Uh, just got a few more things on the other side to finish up. Um, but uh, yeah, we should, we're going to open up the door and see if we have any takers. Relatively painless, mm -hmm. and I am optimistic that this is going to be a solution to keep the eggs clean. Yes, definitely. And, and unbroken and uneaten. And not finding them in weird places. Not finding them in weird Wait places. Wait a minute. Exactly. Who we got over Hello. here? Hi. That's either Henrietta or the one that, uh, well, Grace can tell you what. Could be I think Lucinda. She, I think, uh, yeah, could be Lucinda. Could you be never Lucinda. know. They all, they all kind of look Lucinda-y. Yeah. <laughs> okay, crazy eyes. Hey, what's up with the crazy eyes? We got our first taker. Our first taker, and what's her name, Grace? Linda. Linda? Linda. <laughs> you totally made that up right now. Linda, let's see. Let's see what we got here, Linda. Excuse me, Grace. Coming around, and that's how this works. You got the uh, the back end here, and, oop, wrong side. Dun, dun, dun! Way to go, Linda. <laughs> So, Yay! you will lead. You will be a great leader among chickens. A great leader among chickens. And now that all in all is done, we're going to start to try to pull some things apart. Like this was a door that used to sit on the back of the, uh, the nesting boxes. And mom's got another one. Yep. But you know what? With that tiny little bit of wood, and I'm not actually exaggerating with prices right now. That's probably $15 or $20 worth of wood, which is ridiculous because the sheets of plywood, I don't know what's like where you guys are at, but a four by eight foot sheet of plywood that was over a half inch thick, which this is a little thinner, was 70 bucks. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And uh, 70 bucks. Too much, too much. So we're recycling this. We're gonna use it for something else. Yeah. You may notice something about this pen. Wait it's a minute. Empty. It is empty. It's empty. Well, today is graduation day for Clover. Graduation day. Graduation day. Let's go see. All righty. Graduation day. Graduation day. Uh, Hope had made this awesome little pen for Puzzle so that she could isolate him to train him a little bit um, so that other cows were not getting in the way. 
and I thought this would be a great way to put her in here uh, during the day when she, when Puzzle's not using it. And she's been awesome out here. She has not tried to escape. She's touched the fence a couple of times and it has shocked her. Little tingle. Um, yeah, little tingle. She had a blast running circles in here. She's, uh, she's watching the cat. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. The cat's over there. Did you see the kitty? The kitty. Yeah. And I had, I kept the lead on her in case she did happen to get out, then we could catch her a little bit easier. Yeah, when she's had that on a day or yeah. so and realizes she's safe here and everything's mm -hmm. good, yeah, but we'll we take did, that off. We did uh, stop giving her um, milk uh, against my better judgment. She's right. had milk she, for how long? The thing is, is we have so much of it. I would love to keep giving it to her. Look how big but she is. she's so big. She's, I measured her. Um, there's a way you can measure cows by their girth, and it tells you about approximately how, much, how big they are. She's the size of a six-month-old calf, and she's just barely, not even four months yet. She'll be four months in a couple, in a week. She's way ahead. She's way ahead. So I'm not worried about her growth in any way. She's, she's eating grass. Healthy. Literally um, right now. She's eating grass. She's having a great time out here in the sun. And she can be by mama. She can be by mama, even though mama is. She bailed right now. She bailed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now the question, folks, is this. Mm -hmm. Since the pigs have gone to piggy heaven. Uh, or freezer camp as, freezer camp. as yeah, our friend like at the J Null Zero, John Channel. Yeah. Uh, he's coined that, man. I love it. Yeah. Um, we're going to probably clean this all up. Mm -hmm. That will probably become a goose palace. Yeah, I'm thinking that'll be a goose palace. So. It's really nicely built. It is really awesome. And, and the pigs started pushing it out a little bit at the sides, but it's still... I mean, pigs are huge and, and beasts of, I mean, they are just so strong. But it's still sturdy and it's great. And so I think the, the geese will love it. And for those of you who are questioning Brad's building skills, pause for one second. It is true. I am no carpenter. <laughs> I'm not. But those those little angles, that was done on purpose. That was That was done to look cool and, I don't know, campy, kitschy, whatever you want to call it. But we had these little shingle pieces and I didn't want to waste them. And so we decided to make it look like something you might see uh, in a fairyland thing. On Little House on the Prairie. I'm sure that Charles Ingalls would do a much better job as a carpenter than I would. Maybe, yeah. But I'm learning. Yeah. Learning. Uh-oh, watch out, Clover, that fence is shocky, shocky, shocky. Okay, pause for just one quick second. Do you see this brand right here, folks, on my confuser screen? And yeah, it's cool that I have two monitors. I've had that set up for years and years and years, and I love it because I'm nerdy, and I do video production and audio production, and it's really nice having the second monitor. But I digress. That brand right there. If you don't think that your phone is always listening, if you don't think that your TV is always listening, we were spending some time at a neighbor's house yesterday afternoon. I have never mentioned the name of this brand in years, and we are not in a market for a fan of any kind until yesterday. I mentioned this brand name as our friends were saying, hey, you know, wouldn't it be nice if we had a really big fan? And I said, oh, I know there's this brand name. And I mentioned this brand name. I was like, this is kind of what you're thinking of. And it wasn't really the right fit for them because of the nature of that fan. But I mentioned the brand name. We're not in the market for a fan. I haven't Googled a single thing. I have not done a single search. And yet this morning, 6 a.m., well, 6 a.m. it popped up, and then I'm, it's probably close to 8.15 right now. But um, this pops up, and lo and behold, all of a sudden I'm seeing all over the place ads for fans that I don't need. But I had a conversation about 12 hours ago, and I mentioned that brand name. If you don't think that you're being monitored, if you don't think you're being listened to, I give you exhibit A. Now, let's get back to fun stuff. 
So I'm sure that you folks who are married out there never, ever, ever have this particular situation happen where you're trying to do something, or worse, you're going to church, you're getting ready to go to church, that's when you have the argument. I don't care what it is. It could be about money, it could be about kids, or that's when everybody's loud or the kids are misbehaving. Is that about right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. It's, it's reality. The struggle is real. <laughs> that just happened right here for us now. And you know what had happened over? The squeaky door. Oh my goodness gracious. Tell them. Okay, so the door going into our pantry, it's not an outer door. It's not and, an oh, outer see, door. And that was a jab. That was totally that a was jab. That was a jab. Because I still don't agree, but I'm, I'm relenting. Because I'm it's right. It's very squeaky. It's a security protocol that's easy and cheap. And you should implement it too. You. I don't like it. I don't like it. I hate squeaky doors. Here's hate why, it. folks. If you leave the door squeaky, you know if somebody's coming in or out. It's a cheap, uh, 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 free way to know if somebody's coming in or out of a door. I know it drives you nuts. It does does drive me nuts. And it's loud. I mean, it's really loud. It's, it's really not that loud. Bad. We should go over there. I can. It's really loud. Anyway, anyway. back to the, anyway. back to the happy like, three, two, one. And we're back to big film. Hi. Hey everybody. <laughs> How you doing? I'm sure other channels just only show you the good stuff. No, we try to show you the reality. Here's the plan. I think it's upside down. Is it? Yes. <laughs> it really wouldn't matter anyway, because to be honest, this is just a scribbling of us getting ready to distribute the water that's in the barn. Yep. Yep. We're going to make a, okay, winters here <clears throat> are very cold. So we do need to have a heated hose. Um, so or that the water just freeze. doesn't freeze. And we have that heated hose. Um, so we're going to set it up in the barn so it's not getting walked on by the cows or tripped on by me, which would happen. Um, and so this way we will have it to where it's one spot you turn on and that's it. You don't, you don't have mess to walk with around. bunches you of. Exactly. And, and you don't wear out spigots that mm -hmm. need to be not worn out. Right, exactly. So that's another thing we're working on, getting ready to go to the hardware store to pick up stuff for that. But the big thing, here's the big thing. You ready for it? The cookbook is almost done. It's almost done. We've been working on this cookbook for six months. Yeah. And I'm editing like a fiend. Um, I'm going through them page by page, line by line, word by word to make sure that Everything's spelled right, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be a, still a couple of mistakes. Maybe you should give, if anybody finds, like, a mistake, they get, like, a free recipe or something. Oh, there like we that. go. There we we'll go. We'll give you an extra one. Yeah. We'll send something. Yeah, so I'm making sure that there are no mistakes, um, and that way then then we'll compile it into one document, and it will be a only a PDF download Um and there's a lot of reasons for that. There's a lot of reasons for that. It's really expensive to make a printable cookbook. Now, for those of you who are, are raging and lifting your fists up at us in anger because it it's out. not going to be a, a download, if you have a printer at home, print it out in black and white, put it in a notebook. It's honestly... That's what, that's what we've done. That's what we do. Yeah. I put it, I print it front and back, and then I put it in those plastic sleeves so it doesn't get dirty when you're cooking, and you save paper, um, and it's really easy. You don't have to go to an uh, uh, office Kinkos. depot or Kinko's or anything like that because... The only page that's going to be probably color is the front page. Just don't print the cut front page. Yeah. Print everything else. It's going to be, I mean, it all be black and white. I'm not, we're not going to do high color. We're not going to do, it's, it's not anything. It's about the recipes. It's yeah. It's about the recipes, not the pictures and things like that. That's not what, that's not what our books are about. It's no. about getting fun, new recipes and 
and cheap. There's going to be a lot of cool <laughs> stuff in there. Yeah, frugal. She put in, I put in a bunch. Mm -hmm. I put in an over half, would you say? Yeah. Over half yeah. of the stuff that we just make. Yeah. There's a lot of, this This would be her, a lot of Instant Pot recipes. There is quite a few Instant Pot recipes, but there's also instructions where if you don't want to, now there mm -hmm. are some that I only know how to do it in the Instant Pot. So sorry, it is strictly an Instant Pot, but then there are some recipes where there's instructions for Instant Pot and on the stovetop. So you can do both. Well, and there's a lot of super frugal recipes because guess what, folks? We're in a recession and there's inflation mm -hmm. going on. Mm -hmm. And so let's be frugal. Yeah. And uh, there's a lot of recipes that we've borrowed from the Depression era and yeah. brought them into now. Because mm -hmm. there's some things that you can't just buy, like that they would commonly use in the Depression era. Like, do you even know what oleo is? It's butter. It's not really, though. It's not butter. It's a butter. It's like a weird margarine. Yeah, it's a weird, yeah. But that's so, in a lot of Depression era um, it recipes. Because cheap. Oleo. Cheap. Yeah, and there's a lot of there's several recipes that call for lard. We've so updated we've a lot updated of things. Updated that <clears throat> we've we you know you can use lard, you can use butter, you can use shortening ugh, if you want. Uh, we don't ever use shortening ever. Well, no anymore. We really um, don't. We use lard on or butter. Can, yeah, or butter. Mostly lard. Well, we use not mostly lard. I said mostly butter. <laughs> Um, because we have it, we can make it, we, you know, um, but we also make our own lard. Um, so those, those are the solid fats that we use. But. Well, and then there's oils and stuff like that. Yeah. But, yeah. But there's a good bit of it that's very frugal minded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's going to be that. And that'll be out soon, probably within, I would say right around the first. Right around the first. Yeah. That's what we're hoping for is to launch on the first. Oh, and let me tell you what, folks, if you have it in your hearts, that's one of the things that helps support our channel to keep us going. Because I have a yeah. job job. I have I do video production and audio production and I make music and um, that's awesome. But this is extra mm -hmm. doing Big Family Homestead. Yep. So if you have it in your hearts to help support the channel, that's one great way to do yeah. it. Yeah, we greatly appreciate it. We really do. Mm -hmm. Okay. With that said, we will. Got to go shopping. I'm Brad. I'm Krista. You guys have an amazing and blessed day. Krista. Okay. Krista. The pins were out. I did Krista. not. Krista. I did not watch. Oh, my gosh. The door's not squeaky anymore. <laughs> I did not spray it. It was over there. I just hammered in the pins. We want a squeaky door. I didn't make it squeaky or not squeaky. Whatever. <laughs>